Kara Hines has a question. This is question number 16. What is the joy of the Lord and how is it our strength? Um, let's bring up that scripture. We all know the song. It's I get the song in my head like immediately. <laughs> uh, at any rate, the, the scripture says, put it on your screen, Nehemiah 8.10. Then he said, go your way, eat the fat and drink sweet wine and send portions to anyone who has nothing ready for this day is holy to our God, to our Lord. And do not be grieved for the joy of the Lord is your strength. So the joy of the Lord in Nehemiah, we should always look at the immediate context. They're rebuilding the temple area. And the joy of the Lord is that God is going to bless them in their work. And though they've had lots of difficulties and lots of hardships, they should celebrate, have a feast day and rejoice that God is, you know, who destroyed the temple is once again looking to restore it. So the joy of the Lord in this case is God rebuilding the temple, God having favor on the people, God bringing them back in from captivity. This is like a specific historic moment of a specific, specific joy of the Lord. It's, the, you know, a debate is, is it God's joy or is it my joy in God? The joy of the Lord is your strength. And I tend to think of it as it's the Lord's joy. He, he's rejoicing to rebuild the people, to rebuild the temple, to bless Jerusalem again. And that that is something that is my strength. My strength is knowing that God is for me in this venture of building the temple in Nehemiah's case. How does that apply to my situation in my life today? Well, what is the, the Lord's joy? The joy that's set before Jesus on the cross is to buy a people for himself, that he would bring you to himself to know him forever, to wash you clean of, of your sins, and give you the Holy Spirit that you might have intimate relationship with God, to bless you with eternal, I mean, take this in, eternal life as a, an, a co-heir with Christ forever. I'm getting joy thinking about it, and that gives me strength to go through hardships I'm in today. That's the joy of the Lord that's giving me strength. He's rejoicing. To bring me into his presence. Give me eternal life and joy. Eternal life and joy. Resurrection from the dead. Fellowship forever. Perfectly without any sin. In great love and companionship with other people. And with the Lord himself. And that gives me strength to go through whatever I have to go through today. That's how I take that.